Hello. Hi there, ma'am. This is Ron calling from Martha Stewart Living. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. I work over here at the corporate office. I understand you reached out to us with a complaint. Yeah, um, so I ordered a Christmas tree from you guys, and um, it looked like it had been used. Like, the poles were already scratched, and the um, plug was, like, dented, and the lower half of the lights didn't even work. Um, so it looked like somebody returned it and just it got sold to me. Um, so I was just asking for a replacement. Um, it's like the day it came. <clears throat> and you guys said that you guys would send it to me. Um, and I still haven't gotten it yet. And I've sent like three more follow up emails and I haven't heard anything back. So um, yeah. I'm just kind of disappointed because we're like getting really it's like less than 10 days until Christmas. And I haven't had a fucking tree this whole entire month. Um, yeah, here's the thing. I mean, I'm looking at your file now. I guess you had sent in some pictures, right? Um, right. I've got some pictures here. There's a few scratches on the base, but yeah, it looks like one of our supervisors had looked over your file and decided that, you know, the tree would just be fine. It was just a few scratches and that you could go ahead and just use it. So that's why they haven't sent a replacement. I sent a follow-up image with the lights, not even like the bottom half of the lights aren't even functioning. So, like, you oh. see, like, the top two-thirds of the light, and then, like, yeah, it just, the bottom half. It looks like you just haven't plugged in the bottom half. Because there's, like, different wires for each section, no, and you we, need to plug no, those in properly. No, this tree has been used, and I'm, like, really unimpressed with the quality. Like, and the fact that nobody followed up. You guys said that you would send me a replacement tree. So, I don't understand why you guys emailed me saying that you would send me a replacement tree. And now you're just deciding that I don't deserve one. Well, it's not a case of deserving it, but obviously, yeah, I mean, because the tree you've got is pretty much fine, we, we wouldn't, you wouldn't be eligible for a replacement. It's not fine. I want my money back. This is so absurd. The bottom half of the lights don't even work, and there are scratches on it. I bought this tree brand new. It's not cheap. Yeah, but like, you, you just you, haven't you, plugged... Do you appreciate... I, I can okay, see that you can haven't I, plugged can the light. Your, can I speak to your supervisor? Because this is not okay, and I'm fully willing to, like, blast you guys on social media if you guys really think that you can sell me this piece of crap that is this tree. Oh, I'm really wow. disappointed. Wow, to all, <laughs> to all 5,000 of your followers. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be devastating for um, us. I have um, about 30,000 followers on Instagram, so sure, yeah. And I've actually been written up in the New York Times and Washington Post and everything. So can I speak to your supervisor, or do you want to give me my money back? Because this is absurd. Like, you've made it so much worse. You've just made the situation so much worse. You could have been polite. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to reach out and, and try and solve the problem for you here. What's... I need to speak to somebody else then. Like, I need to speak to somebody else. I don't understand why you emailed me saying that you would get me a tree, a replacement, and then you ghosted me, and now you're saying that I don't deserve a replacement tree. You sent me a tree that was clearly used and clearly damaged, and this wasn't a cheap tree. And this is awful customer service. So I just need to speak to somebody else at this point because I should not be treated like this as a consumer. Well, you can and you are, but would you like to speak to my supervisor? Yes. I mean, God damn. Okay, I'm just going to put you on a brief hold while I uh, see who I have available. Is that okay? Please. All right, one moment, ma'am. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. You've reached Kathy. How may I help you? Um, hi. Um, I just got like the most rude call from one of your customer associates. Um, so I'm just trying to rectify a situation. Oh no, I'm um, so sorry. 
Can it's I just okay. get your Whoever um, transferred me to you was the most rude customer associate that I've ever spoken to in my entire life. And I'm hoping that I can find a solution for this. Yes, um, absolutely. So sorry, I can I just grab your, I, I'm so sorry. Can I just grab your name, please? Your first name? Yeah, my name is Alicia Chu. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. Sorry about that. What can I it's help? It's okay. Whoever, whoever called me, please, like, he should not be working in a customer service position because I was just appalled at how rude and disrespectful that this man was. I understand that it's the holidays and, like, everybody's, like, stressing out, but, like, I just was floored at how incredibly rude he was to me. And I, I don't know if I'm, I, I hope that we can get this situation resolved. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, like, what did he, what did he, like, say? Okay, so I bought a Christmas tree from you guys on, uh, like, on Thanksgiving Day. Okay. It came the Monday, um, like, Cyber Monday. It shipped really fast. But I got the tree, and there were scratches on the pole, and the outlet was dented, and only two-thirds of it was lighting. So the tree just looked damaged when I got it. And I sent an email on the same exact day back in November just asking for a replacement tree. Yeah. And you guys said that um, you would ship it out and um, I should expect it within five to seven business days. And then I didn't get anything. I didn't get an email. Um, I followed up multiple times via email. I just did not get a response back. Um, so I just tweeted on Twitter. I was like, hey, what's going on? Like, I, you guys told me you were sending a replacement tree and I didn't get it. And as like probably like 20 minutes after I made that tweet, I had somebody call me, which I was, you know, excited to hopefully get a resolution for this because I was told that I was getting a replacement and then it just never showed up and I never heard from your team again. Yeah. And then he just sat on the phone just saying like, huh, well, I looked at your photos and it looks like my supervisor decided to not send you a tree because there are only minor stuff and this doesn't warrant a replacement. And I just, I'm just kind of floored at the fact that I was told in writing that I was getting sent a replacement tree mm -hmm. and somebody decided that I did not deserve a replacement tree. Yeah. I've never been treated like this by any brand in my entire life. Um, he started arguing with me. He said, God damn, like he said that like, you know, oh, if you want to talk, like if you want to complain to your 5,000 followers, then go ahead. He was belittling me, insulting me. I am disgusted with his behavior absolutely disgusted with his behavior so i'm hoping that we can find a solution because i this is just absolutely ridiculous <laughs> yeah absolutely like i've never even heard of something like that happening here and i've worked here for like five years like this is i'm i'm in disbelief right now like i don't even know what to say i'm so sorry yeah it's okay please just don't let him interact with anybody else ever again yeah no like, i'm gonna rude totally take, i'm gonna totally take care of this but i just want to make sure that you're happy first and then i am going to have some not nice words for him because i'm gonna pull up the call and listen to it and everything so first okay. off your tree um, let's get that yeah. sorted first. Okay, so do you still have the tree or did you send it back? I still have it because in email, they just said, we're going to send you another tree. Yeah, okay. So I didn't even get like a shipping label or anything. Yeah, so I no, still have it. I just want to know, like, I just have to like, you know, confirm, of course. So, um, like, I'm just thinking, I'm just looking here at what we have. Sorry, one second. Okay, so was the box damaged when you got it? Uh, the box looked like it was fine. I didn't notice any noticeable dents or anything on it. Okay. So with I'm looking at the pictures that you sent over for the tree. Um, so you know that it's like the Martha Stewart Corporation and everything like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So on your blog on your social media and everything like that we thought you were the perfect person to do this but like you could like fix up the tree and like show people how it's done there's so many great tutorials on the martha stewart website okay um but i'm still kind of just uh, a bit upset at like how the tree arrived and i'm not sure why um, the company told me that you guys were sending a replacement and, and now I'm just not being offered one. This is just really confusing. Yeah. Well, we thought we were running out of trees, to be honest. And then so we were like going through the list and everything and then we came across your social media. So then we were like, oh, my God, this is like the perfect person. So I was I guess they were saying like, 
wow, she's like a blogger. She can do whatever on her followers and then we'll get more business next year and everything like that. So you could just like fix up the tree. Is this, you know? is this like a real, is this a real phone call? Like, is this, is this really, is this like legitimate? <laughs> yeah. You actually work for Martha Stewart and you're, you're saying this to me. Yeah. Um, I need a refund. I just need a refund. Like this is, this is like absolutely absurd. I don't understand um, I why you need a refund when you can just fix up the tree. Like they're. Christmas is like just over like a week away and then like there's no way that this is real so I'm just gonna hang up and try to actually call the legitimate number tomorrow uh, because this just seems like a scam and it just seems absolutely ridiculous what scam how would the scam work (laughs) 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 the old the old scammers telling you to fix your own broken Christmas tree (laughs) 